Hello and welcome back to a new video. Today we will be discussing oculasis, which refers to the role of eye behavior in communication and how it functions as a sub-branch of multimodal communication. Let's begin with the definition. Oculasis is the study of eye behavior, essentially how we use our eyes to communicate. As a sub-branch of non-verbal communication, oculasics examines things like eye contact, eye movement, and gaze patterns. It is an essential part of multimodal communication, which is when multiple modes or channels, such as spoken words, gestures, and visual cues, are used to communicate a message. In this case, the eyes serve as a visual mode that can express emotions, intentions, and even help regulate conversations. Research into oculasics has shown how important eye behavior is to understanding communication. One of the key figures in this field is Albert Meriniam, whose work on nonverbal communication revealed that a significant portion of how we interpret messages comes from nonverbal cues like eye contact. Furthermore, Modern studies use eye tracking technology to observe how eye movement and gaze direction impact communication. For instance, eye tracking has been used to measure how engaged people are with speakers or visual media by analyzing where and how long they focus on their gaze. Our eyes serve several crucial functions during communication. First, they help to regulate conversations. For example, we often use eye contact to signal that we are ready to speak or that we finished a thought. Eye behavior also helps to establish connections and trust. Maintaining eye contact often shows that we are engaged and confident. Emotions are another area where oculasics is particularly important. You can tell a lot about someone's emotional state just by looking at their eyes. For example, wide eyes can signal surprise or fear while narrow eyes might indicate suspicion or anger. Similarly, attention and engagement are often communicated through steady eye contact, while a lack of eye contact can suggest disinterest or discomfort. It is important to remember that the way people interpret eye behavior varies widely across cultures. In many Western cultures, like the United States or most of Europe, direct eye contact is generally seen as a sign of confidence and honesty. In contrast, in East Asian cultures, like Japan or China, prolonged eye contact may be considered disrespectful or confrontational, especially in hierarchical situations such as between a boss and an employee. In some Middle Eastern cultures, eye contact between men and women is often avoided to maintain modesty. Meanwhile, in indigenous cultures like the Navajo one, avoiding direct eye contact, especially with elders, is a sign of respect. So when communicating with people from different cultures, it is important to be aware of these differences to avoid misunderstandings. Let's have a look at a few practical examples of how oculasics play out in everyday situations. In job interviews, for instance, maintaining eye contact is often recommended to show confidence. A lack of eye contact might give the impression that the candidate is nervous or unsure. In public speaking, effective speakers often scan the room and make eye contact with their audience to engage them. When people feel seen by the speaker, they are more likely to stay attentive. In negotiation, subtle changes in eye behavior like looking away or breaking eye contact can reveal uncertainty or hesitation, which might affect how the other party interprets your confidence in your position. A good cross-cultural example is business meeting between Japanese and American professionals. While Americans might expect eye contact as a sign of engagement, Japanese participants may avoid it to show respect, especially towards senior figures. In conclusion, oculasics plays a crucial role in how we communicate non-verbally, regulating conversations, expressing emotions, and building trust. Since oculasics is an integral part of multimodal communication, understanding how eye movement complement spoken words and gestures can make us more effective communicators. Thank you very much for watching this video, stay tuned for more.